Okay, we're going to have a look at the first stage on building uh, 555 timer circuit. So there's the completed circuit. Here we've got the circuit board and what we're going to fit first of all is two resistors. So we have two resistors, R1 and R2. Um, the equipment we're going to use, we've got a soldering iron, soldering iron stand, a pair of clippers and some solder. A pair of, sorry, a pair of side cutters and some solder. So the first thing we're going to fit is R1 which is a 10k resistor. The colour code for that is brown, black, orange. So we've got our resistor and we bend the legs of our resistor. So we bend the legs of our resistor to 90 degrees, if you can see that. and we place that in to the R1 and we make sure that the, the resistor is nice and tidily on there and bend out the legs of the resistor to about 30 degrees there. The next resistor we're going to fit is the 470R resistor and the colour code for that is yellow you can see the colour code for there, yellow, purple, brown, and that's great. We're going to bend the legs of the resistor to 90 degrees, and that fits in to R2. Push it down onto the circuit board. Once you've fitted both resistors, bend the legs out like that so they won't drop out, and put our circuit board flat down. We get the soldering iron clean the tip of the soldering iron, don't push it onto the sponge too much because it does just cool the tip down. We add a bit of solder, which is called tinning, and then we're going to solder the components on. So I touch the soldering iron onto the pad very carefully and add a bit of soldering iron, solder. I soldered the other one. Let's move that up there. And use the side cutters to cut off the legs of the component as closely as we can. And there is the completed two resistors soldered in neatly. That is fitting the two resistors R1 and R2.